when the Goya boycott started because the CEO of Goya was asked to be at the White House, they were, I don't know if they had a committee, some kind of like, it was a Hispanic initiative, something, something with the White House, right? It had to do with Trump and Goya. So the Goya CEO, Robert, I forget, I can't pronounce his last name, Umani or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's it's a privately owned company. It's family owned. They they're Spanish immigrants who I think lived in Puerto Rico for a while, and they brought the company to uh, America. Well, he said Donald Trump. I'm paraphrasing. Donald Trump is a builder. He's a leader. Uh, when my family came to this country, they were also builders, and we need a leader, and we're blessed to have a leader that has vision and wants to build things and something like that. Mm -hmm. They jumped on his ass. Uh, Chrissy Teigen. And her look what's her boyfriend's name don lemon <laughs> um they they were like oh, that's it we're throwing out all goya seasonings products beans and habichuelas we're throwing away everything do not eat garbanzos if they're from goya so chrissy Teigen and all these people jumped on goya talking about cancel goya cancel goya i my calculation was i need to invest in goya Regardless of left, right, or politics, it was really a money decision in this case. Like, it could have, I wanted to support them, but also I felt like the boycott wasn't going to help them. Yeah. Here's my reasoning. Well, when I went to buy it, I couldn't because they weren't public. They weren't publicly traded. It was private. My reasoning was this the Karens, they like the white liberal women, they want to be offended on behalf of others mm -hmm. who would like to participate in a boycott. They cannot participate in a boycott because they never bought. You're not really a Goya customer. Right. So in this case, Karen, there really ain't shit you could do. You're not going to hurt their bottom line. All right. What percentage of Goya sales come from Caribbean Latinos, uh, Puerto Ricans and Cubans? Um, I know Cubans for the most part are Republican. I'm not 100% sure about Puerto Ricans, but let's just say that mm, 40% comes from uh, of their sales comes from uh, Caribbean Latinos they vote Republican for the most part it's not going to affect the sales so in my head I'm running a tally liberal white women can't boycott some shit they didn't know what, what it was a week ago right Caribbean Latinos don't give a fuck Mexican Americans who might be mostly Democrat well I feel that for the most part we have a variety of products that we buy and Goya might be a, a chunk but I don't know how many moms and nannies and Latinas and like Luisa and, you know, my mom and my tias. I don't know how many of them pay attention to this bullshit. I don't know how many of them follow Chrissy Teigen. Yeah. They're going to be like, wait, 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 what? So, okay, so run this back. So the CEO of Goya, who I, I never even heard of, I just buy the fucking beans. So he was invited to the White House. Okay, bet. And Trump was there. Okay, he said some nice things about Trump. Okay, cool. So you're telling me I need to throw away my beans. <laughs> I need to throw away my beans, mijo? Is that what you're telling me? I knew that shit wasn't going to stick. Pretty much every which... And I also factored in how many conservative right people were going to say, this man deserves to have the freedom of speech. This man deserves to have his political views. We cannot penalize this company, which are technically founded by immigrants. I thought y'all were pro-immigrant only when they agree with you. All of a sudden, y'all y'all ready to dispose of Goya? Y'all ready to dispose of a company that gave back millions of pounds of food for people in need? Her, whether Hurricane, whether uh, uh, San, Hurricane Sandy in New York, or whether it was um, the quarantine and the lockdown in New York, people needed canned goods. These people helped during Obama. They took the invitation to show up at the White House during pri uh, previous administrations. And, you know, I knew all these conservatives were going to be like, fuck that. I don't even know what Goya is, but I'm finna load up on some Goya. Why? Because this man seems like he loves America and it's not fair to them. Just because Chrissy Teigen, who thinks she got some pool, thinks she really got some influence. Not in my hood. And um, sh that was my calculation. It's like Goya is going to be just fine. I remember that night. Because I was on Twitter like a mug that day. And I'm looking at Chrissy Teigen. I'm looking at all these people. Chingo, we need to cancel Goya, Chingo. You're on the wrong side. You need to get over here with me and John Leguizamo and all these people and Chrissy Teigen and Don Lemon. And we're canceling Goya. Fuck Goya, Chingo. 
And then they would say this. It's not, they said, it's not cancel culture. It's the free market. We vote with our dollars. We have the right to not support who we don't want to support. <laughs> How did that fucking boycott work out for you? Stupid. Damn, y'all's leaders. Y'all's leaders are stupid. Y'all's leaders have not done the math. Chrissy Teigen did not have the pool. By the way, she deleted like 12,000 tweets one day. But anyway. That's for another episode. That's for a whole other episode. Uh, by the way, Houston is the uh, human trafficking capital of the country, including children. Y'all not ready to talk about that. Y'all not ready to talk about how many people get raped trying to get smuggled into the country. Y'all don't, Y'all not ready to even talk about that. Some of y'all don't even know what a coyote is. But I remember staying up that night doing all the math of why Goya was actually going to go up. And I was right. 